How are you all? Dave Rocio here from uh, KPM Motorsport. Once again, we're in our fuel systems room, and uh, today we are, uh, we're going to touch on uh, some of the fuel systems for the Ford Falcon model range. Now, we've done a previous uh, video on, uh, on the operation of these systems in our fuel bench, so uh, if you want to check that out and get some full information on how they work, um, yeah, just follow the link below, and you'll, you'll get a gist of all our modules available for the Falcon range. Today I specifically want to talk about a, a new development that, uh, that we've uh, um, done over the last few months. Over the years, and we've been doing these fuel systems for about uh, oh, 10 years now, and uh, we've got our uh, 1000 horsepower uh, module, and then we have our 1500 horsepower module. Up to now, you, you either bought the 1000 horsepower module or the 1500 horsepower module, and uh, yeah, according to your power demand. So recently, uh, with uh, the popularity of ethanol fuels, a lot of people that have uh, bought our 1,000 horsepower module are uh, retrofitting their vehicles to ethanol and finding that they need more. They need, uh, they need to jump to our 1,500 horsepower module. And up to now, it's been a complete remove and replacement of the uh, Street Fighter module. We've had to sell another complete module. So that, that led us to think, why don't we make our 1,000 horsepower module upgradable? So should you ever uh, you know, have the need to up your fuel system for the demand of a more powerful engine or the demand of an ethanol-based uh, system, uh, we thought we will be able to uh, retrofit your 1,000 to the 1,500. And that's going to save uh, you, the customer, a lot of money uh, rather than buying one kit that becomes obsolete, you'll have to you know, sell that off and buy our 1500. Now you can buy our 1000 horsepower module, which looks like that. If you ever need to upgrade it, send it into us and we'll retrofit it for you to a 1500 horsepower module, which basically looks like that again. So as you can see, you can start with a 1000 horsepower, may need to need forever, or you can upgrade with your power requirements as you need them. Just want to show you how quick and easy it is. Um, here we've got the, the insides of our uh, 1000 horsepower module. That's our lid with the outlets. Notice everything is zinc plated. Um, that's so it's 100% ethanol compatible. So it's all plated, uh, all the plastics and O-rings are all petrol ethanol compatible. So that's our, our lid. Basically uh, without the canister, that's, that's what your fuel system looks like as a 1,000 horsepower setup. These have got our um, two specific 300 litre per hour each Bosch Motorsport um, pump. Now they are a ethanol and petrol uh, 10,000 hour compatible pump. Uh, when you purchase this 1,000 horsepower unit, comes our wiring and relay direct plug and play uh, loom kit that will plug into your standard wiring and route to your battery at the front for a heavier gauge. Um, uh, these pumps demand more amperage, so this will support that amperage. So it's heavy gauge wiring, heavy gauge fusing and relay. So that all comes as part of your 1,000 horsepower kit. So that, that as you see it, is your 1,000 horsepower kit. If you need to up your power levels, we can then offer you Two bigger pumps. Now these are the uh, Warbro 525 um, fuel pumps. They'll support 1500 horsepower of uh, power at the flywheel, and that is on petrol. So remember, we always quote at the flywheel on petrol fuel. So that uh, is a 50% jump from the 1000 horsepower unit. And when you send the 1000 horsepower unit into us, you can see we can quickly and simply upgrade this for you with our 1500 horsepower retrofit kit here. So while we've got the, the pumps out of the base, a good, good opportunity just to give you a bit of an insight on the base. So the base is uh, obviously holds the pump, but it's not just a holder. The, uh, obviously this, this base holds the pumps uh, in situ, but uh, there's a lot going on there. You can see it's uh, just slightly, just slightly off the, uh, off the, well, Imagine that's the, the, the bottom of the tank. So it sits just slightly off the bottom of the tank, picks up fuel through that gap. There's about a five mil gap there and that's held up by some uh, specific rubber stoppers there. 
that it seats on. Now we've also got what we call uh, Venturi pumps. So there's two Venturi pumps and there's two uh, refill pumps here. So in essence, what the, what the base does while it's sitting on the bottom of the tank, and obviously you've got the canister surrounding it, so it becomes a, you know, it becomes a, a surge tank or a container if you like. Those two Venturi pumps that I showed you will actually pull fuel from the bottom of the tank and keep that canister full. They act as pumps for consistently keeping that canister full, even though the, the tank might be near empty. And you can see that on our other um, video where we explain the Falcon range of pumps, Street Fighter pumps. We go through how the canister stays full on a near empty tank, preventing any surge on the racetrack or on the street. Um, absolutely uh, you know, engineered to work perfectly. This is a system that's uh, used by vehicle manufacturers and also now used by companies like us for the performance aftermarket. It removes all the need for any external surge tanks out of the uh, vehicle. This is all housed as per an OEM setup in the vehicle's fuel tank. So there's a lot of goings on down here in the base. A couple of Venturi pumps, a couple of refuel pumps, keeps that that uh, canister full, once it's all together, that'll be a full canister, even with a low fuel tank. Have a look at our other video on the uh, Falcon range of pumps. Okay, so there you can see, it's, for us, uh, it's quite a simple uh, matter to uh, remove your smaller 300 litre per hour each Bosch Motorsport pumps and replace them with the, the much larger 525 litre per hour each Warbro um, pumps. We retain the uh, pumps with a new spacer, washer, uh, spacers and bolts and a retainer plate, all in stainless steel and nickel plated. The kit also comes with some uh, petrol and 100% ethanol proof Convulated tubing, so we'll put all that together once we put the, uh, the the lids back on and the canister. We'll do all that for you at KPM, and there's a few extra bits and pieces that come with it. So as you can see, the retrofit kit comes with the two new pumps, uh, retainer plate, bolts, uh, spacers, convulated hoses, some clamps, and some extra wiring all refit and put together 100% retested in our test bench at KPM, sent back to you. And we'll classify that as our uh, Street Fighter conversion kit, 1500 uh, conversion kit. Available on our website, you can uh, give us a ring, chat to us about it, uh, have, have a look on our website, you can read about it. Um, and yes, drop it straight back in, plug it into your existing wiring and away you go. There is the one option though, when you do upgrade from a thousand horsepower, uh, thousand horsepower to a fifteen hundred horsepower setup, uh, you may need to change your fuel pressure regulator. We'll be our advisor on that. Uh, so there is several styles of fuel pressure regulators we offer. Uh, this is for our turbo models, and this is for our V8 uh, models. So they're they're an option as well on top of the pumps that you can talk to us about. So look us up, KPM Fuel Systems, um, ring us up anytime, we've got a tech line here, you'll speak straight to the techs, we can help you on your fuel system, your fuel modules, injectors, whatever you're after.